Mimic PC is a new service that allows you to run your favorite AI apps wherever you are. You don't need to take your PC with you, it's gonna mimic your PC. Now, ever since the generative AI revolution began, one of my hopes has been that we could get online services that would allow us to do what we do on our computers, on our desktop computers, but to do that online wherever we are. Now, this new service allows you to do that, and on top of that, it is extremely easy to set things up. So, the website allows you to set up an account, and you set up the account for free, you don't need to pay anything. And it will give you some free storage and some free credits to start doing your thing. I've got a whole bunch of apps or machines. I've set up machines for one is for a large language model, one is for a voice model. Focus, or is that Focus? Automatic 1111 Comfy UI, all here. We can come here to add a new app and to get started, I think we can get started maybe with Focus. Let's hit get started. You get a option which has a 16 gigabyte VRAM and you have another option, the large option, which is for 24 gigabytes VRAM. We're going to go to large. I prefer the large version and we'll hit create start. It's going to create a user interface and it creates it just like you'd create a user interface on your computer at home. So it takes a couple of minutes and you don't need to set anything up. So it takes away all the drudgery of downloading the software and then installing it and then downloading all the models. And here we are with the familiar user interface, the familiarity. Everything that you're doing here is going to be just like you would have it on your own system. I used another of the models to create a prompt. So we'll just paste that prompt in there and we'll see what that gives us. Now we can go to advanced and that will open up a bunch of new options. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and just hit generate, reduce the number to one. It doesn't take long at all. Look at advanced. We've got the guidance scale, image sharpness. Everything's looking good so far. Let's go ahead and we can go ahead and choose a style. Let's choose neon punk, SAI neon punk. And shall we try that one? See what that looks like. Now you can also run this with multiple different batch sizes. So if we go to the settings, let's go and increase the batch size number to six. Because of the amount of memory that we've got, we can go ahead and just use the increased batch size to create a number of renders all at the same time. And then we've got multiple renders here. So we can go ahead and choose whichever one works the best. Some of them are a little bit more following the prompt a little bit better at following the prompt than others. If we go here, we can go to advanced and maybe increase the guidance scale a little bit. Now, as you can see here, we've got a, a, a section for the models we can choose. We're using Juggernaut Excel, which is a pretty good one. And we've got options to add LoRa's. So it is really, really kind of focused on making things nice and easy. When you're finished, you can go ahead and look at your outputs. We've got plenty there. And if I wanted to, I could open these up and start to export them. And yeah, this is basically how it works. We can also use the more complex one, which is Comfy UI. That's probably my favorite one. And that allows us to create pretty exquisitely controlled workflows. As well as automatic 1111, we've got Comfy UI, and Comfy UI is probably my favorite one. Now, the model here, the GPU, is an A10 24 gigabytes VRAM, and that one will give you total control, even if you're using very large models like like Stable Cascade. And here we are inside of Comfy UI. Now, this is sort of the default workflow. We can work with maybe changing the image size. So we'll change that to 1024 by 1024. And we'll go ahead and Q prompt. Creating a beautiful scenery, nature glass bottle landscape, crystal dragon. Let's go ahead and just 
clean that up and a purple galaxy bottle now when it first runs it's going to take a little bit longer than usual because it's going to be loading up all of the models into the in, into the gpu and then after that it runs fast as blazes and here we are this is the first render so obviously we can go ahead and change the batch size maybe make that two and we can run you can see how quick it is even with a batch size of two it doesn't take long at all to complete rendering now if you're running the 24 gigabyte version it will run super fast if you're using the medium version it goes a little bit slower but it is still you know it's a lot faster than having a slower machine there's our dragon looking pretty cool there are two images there that's the second image there so it doesn't take long at all we can also work with more powerful models like stable cascade I actually loaded up one of the workflows that I have on one of my courses for Stable Cascade and it installed the huge Stable Cascade models with ease and I was able to get going producing huge photorealistic images actually significantly better than the ones I can produce inside of Stable Diffusion 3 at the moment and I was able to produce this much faster than I can on a typical desktop. And of course, this is possible whether you're running on a computer, a laptop, or even a phone, a mobile phone. So if you want to check this out, follow the link in the description. You don't have to pay anything. You can just use the free credit to check it out. And I would say, try it out. And you may find it actually changes how you plan to use Stable Diffusion in the future. You might be able to avoid spending hundreds of dollars on hardware. And you'll find that the plugins and models that you download are stored inside the Mimic PC machines so you can access them at any time you want to in the future.